Hello welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the plume C, uh, in which we are dealing with the array. Basically, I'm just telling you in a short. Okay, we are dealing with the array, and uh, which contains n elements. And basically, each array of uh, each element of that array represents a building and the height of a building. Basically, okay. we have to find out uh, how many buildings, uh, how many buildings of that uh, row are uh, of that array are cool. Okay, a building is considered to be cool. If its height is more than the its uh, neighbor buildings, its uh, adjacent buildings, and we want we can increase height of uh, some buildings so that there should be maximum number of cool buildings in that array. For example, the array is one, two, one, five, ten. In this case, you can see that this is a cool building. Why? Because its uh, height is greater than its last element also and its next element. This five is not cool because it has less height than its next element. But we can make it cool. If I will just increase this heights by three, it will become eight. And now it is a cool because it is greater than seven also and is greater than one. So by doing this operation, we have to we have to maximize the number of cool building and we have to minimize the operation. We have to also minimize the operation. We minimize the number of height which are which we are increasing. So the the thing which you have to observe it. That whenever there are odd number of buildings, then the answer will always be same. Means it will be just a greedy answer. Let me just tell you how. For example, the buildings are one, two, one, just like here. Whenever the buildings are odd, then we can all only make some specific amount of building cool. For example, this and this. Alternate buildings. If there is one more, for example, eight and nine, then we can we, we should also make this building to cool. But if there are even number of buildings like this for example if we are making this building cool we can either make this building cool or we can do like we, let's make this building cool and make this building cool or it can be make this building cool and make this building cool so there can be different sets but in in case of odd number of buildings the answer will always be we have to take the alternate building and then by taking the alternate buildings we can just find out how many more floors to be should be added to make it a cool building. So first of all, we will make a difference array. That difference array will basically store the number of more floors to be added to make it a cool building. For example, here number of more floors to be zero because it is already a cool building. For this case, number of four, more floors should be five because it should be at least six to make uh, greater than five and two. For this, we should add three. For this, we should add two. For this, we should add two to make them cool building. And corner building can never be cool because they have they, they don't have their one of the adjacent area. So first I am finding this difference. First I am finding this difference. So to find this difference, you can just check out my code what I have done. It is a more of DP implementation. Here you can see at first I have just uh, calculated the difference here. Here is a difference. Here. If there are there are only three buildings, there are only four buildings, then there that is the corner case. Else, if the number of buildings are odd, you can see here in this else condition. If the number of buildings are odd, in that case we have to just add. Uh, we have to just calculate the alternate buildings required. That is what we will discuss. If the number of buildings are even. In that case, there is a big algorithm which we have written. Maybe maybe mine one is quite complex, but that is what I have written. Now let's understand this thing. What I have thought. What is my logic? So I have thought. Basically, the thing is that when number of buildings are even, just understand that thing. If number of buildings are even, so it is something like key. This one, two, one, three, five, there are even number of. Now, the thing is uh, that we cannot make this corner buildings to cool. So just forget that. So just focus on this middle building. And out of this middle buildings also, let's say we are taking this one and this one. So these two will be avoided. Let's say we are taking this one and this one. So these two will be avoided. Or we can take this one and this one. So this will be. There will be multiple. 
and we can also skip two buildings at a once in this case of even number building. How can we calculate? So first we will calculate in, in such a way that we are just taking alternate buildings, just like we do in uh, just like uh, we do in odd case when there are odd number buildings. For, for example, the buildings are one, two, one. Or let's take the example from the case given to us. That is more easy to understand. From the test case which are given to us. Let's take uh, this. This is left. Take this row. Okay. So let's just consider that test case. uh great great so uh the thing which we have to consider is that uh, first we have to find a reference array so first let's find a reference array and what is the difference amount so to make this a uh, cool building the second one amount is required is three here required amount is three here it is uh, again three here it is again uh, it here it is already sorry here it is already greater than it will be zero here the required amount is four here the required amount is zero because it is already so now the thing is that how we can take these are the these so the thing is uh, how many buildings should we take from out of these buildings so that the total amount is minimum the total required amount is minimum so we can so first we'll just take the normally first take this one then this then this so required amount is three plus three plus three seven other thing is take this one then this one then so it is 0 plus 0 plus 0 3 now there is one more way how we can find the way is that just skip one character in middle so it will be like take this one then this one skip this particular or it's like take this one then this one skip this particular this is a way also we can take, but we can only skip this once only, only once, only once is only enough. So for skipping this, what we have done? First of all, we have I have calculated from this alternate thing. So for that, I have just taken a prefix array. For that, I have taken a prefix array. Let me just told you how how I have done that. Just give me that uh, tell you. This is the suffix prefix array, and this is a suffix array. I have calculated this, and in this, you can see that I am just taking. The uh, prefix i is equal to difference of i plus difference of prefix i minus 2. Not i minus 1, it is i minus 2. So here I am just taking the alternate towns. The, the amount required for alternate. That is what we are doing. When alternate towers are done, then what I am doing? Then in this case, I am just is skipping that. So here I am just counting for that. Uh, this is quite uh, confusing, guys. Okay. I want that up mirror the muscle number to the code. You have to logic. May I throw us a complex, okay? Just think of this by own. What I was, uh, I am thinking of, okay? Ki I have two suffix, I have two arrays, which is suffix and uh, and uh, prefix. So, for example, I have to just uh, till here, I am going here, and then I am just going to this part. So, till here, I will get the prefix of this index, and then I will add it to the suffix of this index. For example, there are some more values, 1 and 2 and 3. Let's see. So after this, it will be like this. It will be like this. Okay. So till here, I can find its value by suffix array. That suffix of this index, let's say j. And till here, I can get its value by prefix of i. And then I can just add prefix of i plus prefix of i. So that these three elements will be skipped. That is what we are doing. Or no, not three, sorry. We, should, we cannot skip three elements. We can just skip two elements. Two elements are skipped. That is what we, we can do. That is what I have done here. I just added prefix i plus suffix i plus 3 or prefix i minus 3 plus suffix. I just want you to just implement your own approach here okay? because this is quite confusing. I hope that you have got this problem. If you have any doubt, because this is quite co co confusing, I know, you can just uh, ask, you can just comment it down or you can just ask it on my uh, telegram. You can also follow me on LinkedIn and subscribe to the channel.